Restaurant owners and workers have been to hell and back over the last few months. So, to honor them as local restaurants reopen, we thought we would take a trip in the Wayback Machine all the way back to 2014 when I visited the Hill and had a run-in with a fan. No, not a, not a fan of me, a fan of the meatball sandwich at Adriana's. Week after week, the weather just gets more and more beautiful here in St. Louis, which brings a lot of people to the hill. And apparently you haven't lived until you've been to Adriana's to check out the meatball sandwich. We're going to go inside and take a hey, look. Matt. Wait a minute. Ed Herman from Brown and Crouppen, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm well, coming here like I always come here. You always come here? I come to Adriana's. It's the best meatball sandwich in all of St. Louis. You want to go see how they do it? Oh, I'm going to show you how they do it. Just taking a walk. Now you're in my field. I'm here with Suzanne from Adriana's, and she's going to actually teach us today how they make the best meatball sandwich in St. Louis. Well, thank you very much. So what do we got? It looks like about two pounds of ground beef. We've got two pounds right of ground here. beef right here. So we're going to get our hands in here. You All right. Do it? Yeah, no, Just start sure. breaking it up a little bit. All right. Okay, we're well, going to add the breadcrumbs. I've been around meat my whole life, Suzanne. <laughs> about three-fourths of a cup of finely chopped onion, Romano cheese, and then we have about a half of a cup of Italian flat leaf. Parsley. Parsley. Okay. We're going to mix this in. Look at that. Look at you. You know, I was in the Meat Cutters Union in New York growing up, and I've been eating meatballs pretty much out of the womb. I use about two eggs per pound of ground beef. Okay. It's going to yeah. bind the breadcrumbs and everything together. We're going to add a little bit of water. It's about a half a cup of okay. water. And then in here, I have salt, pepper, a little bit of oregano, oregano. I can and smell I have. That. Granulated garlic. Ooh. Now you do something a little special here we do? that I've never seen done anywhere else. <laughs> we're going to put it on the tray and then we're going to flatten it out. Not a whole lot. And when we plate this right. on a sandwich, you're going to understand exactly why they flatten those meatballs. <laughs> put the meatballs in the oven put at 350, the oven. about a half hour. About a half an hour. Then you put them into your delicious tomato sauce. <laughs> the flattened meatball <laughs> covers the whole bread. We're going to get meatball in every bite. That's and then what right. kind of cheese are we going to use? Okay, so we normally, since we're St. Louis, we put Prevel cheese. Oh. We also offer anything else that they like. Okay. We're going to Just dip a little the lid. dip so that the sauce covers the whole top. If the law doesn't work out, this is, I actually enjoy this more. Matthew. Yes. Matthew Chambers. Uh -huh. You take a bite out of this, and you just tell me how good that is. All right, buddy. Do I have to stop after one? No, okay, keep going. Keep Eat going. the whole thing. Okay, if you have never come down to Adriana's for their meatball sandwich, what are you doing here in St. Louis? Seriously. <laughs> this is what you need to do. This is delicious. And yes, I am happy to report that Adriana's on the Hill is back open for business. In fact, according to their Facebook page, they're so busy they've had to add some extra phone lines. <laughs> things are going well. People are hungry. And of course, huge thanks to my friend Ed Herman, who suggested we re-air this story as all the restaurants are opening back up around town. If you'd like to get in touch with Brown and Crouppen, you can do that anytime. Give them a call at 314-222-2222 or visit their website at getbc.com. What's that number again? All twos. Oh. Lots of twos. <laughs>